turning off a machine, is it really safe in a refinery? During the commissioning period, things become much more complex because it is no longer just electricity, high pressure gases, hot walls, steam systems, cleaning operations with inert gases, and temporary pipelines are all in service at the same time. That's why lockout tagout, or energy isolation, is critically important. Lockout tagout, also called LODO or ECIT, is the practice of safely isolating all energy sources of machines and process equipment. But during commissioning, the variety of energy sources is much greater. Electrical circuits, compressed air and hydraulic systems, steam and hot fluids, flammable and explosive gases. And remember, even the pressure inside a pipeline can be a deadly hazard on its own. So what happens if LODO is not applied? Electric shock, the release of pressurized steam, gas leakage from a pipeline, or a pump or compressor starting up suddenly. According to OSHA data, a significant portion of serious industrial accidents are caused by the lack of proper energy isolation. A single oversight can take a life in just seconds. How should LODO be applied correctly during the commissioning period? Let's go step by step. Step 1. An energy isolation plan is prepared. Which valves will be closed? Which circuit breakers will be locked? Which blind flanges will be installed? All these details are planned. Step 2. The equipment is shut down according to its normal procedure. Step 3. The energy sources are isolated. Main breakers are turned off, valves are closed, blinds are installed. Remember, during commissioning, a lock alone may not be enough. Blind flanges and line blanks are also mandatory. Step 4. Lockout and tagging are performed. Each team member attaches their own lock. For group work, a group lockbox is used. This ensures that no one can re-energize the system without removing all locks. Step 5. Stored energy is released. Pipeline pressure is relieved, condensate is drained, and zero energy is verified with a voltage test. Step 6. A zero energy test is conducted. Is there still pressure, heat, or electricity in the system? Always check. Step 7. When the work is completed, only the owner of the lock removes it. During commissioning, this is done with a permit and in coordination with the commissioning team. So, what are the most common mistakes? Skipping the lock because it will only take a short time. Using tape or a simple piece of paper instead of a proper tag. Using just one lock when every team member should apply their own. Or closing only a valve without applying a blind. Each of these mistakes invites accidents, remember. During refinery commissioning, lockout tagout is not just a procedure. It is the most powerful safety habit that protects your life. Turning off a machine is not enough. Lock it, tag it, blind it, and live safely.